is Chris. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. It is Moses' story, right? The king said, "No. Let let God's people go. Ah, let God's people go," said Moses. He want to leave Egypt to worship God. Please let my people go now. No, said Pharaoh. God said you must let us go, said Moses again. I don't care what your God says. God said to burn the Pharaoh. Pharaoh made Israel work harder, harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough to time to eat. God told Moses that what to do. Pharaoh will meet to your you and the people, but don't worry. They will know soon that I am the. Will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. Moses said, "Let my people go." Many times, but the king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, "Your people have to work for me." Terrible things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became gnashed and lace. Fields came all over. After nine terrible disasters, one last horrible thing happened. The first-born son on each Egyptian. Holding the pharaoh's son died. Morning, he heard everywhere in Egypt. At last, pharaoh called Moses and Aaron. Go, said the king. Take your people out of the Egypt. The king was born anymore. God showed that he richer than the king. The Israel came from out of from the Egypt. God's people came out of Egypt. The Israel were out of Egypt with God's help. God let Moses lead the Israels. They knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the clouds. God always with them. God showed them where to go. God showed the pillar of fire every night. After the people of Israel left Paro, changing his mind, he followed the Israel with his soldiers. The Red Sea was in front of Israel's. Then they couldn't cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Paro and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. Moses said, "Don't be afraid. God will save us." God said to Moses, "Raise your staff." Over the sea, the pillar of cold stayed between the Israel and Pharaoh's army. When Moses raised his staff, 
they came to paths to the other side of the sea. The Israel followed the path and crested the Red Sea. Taro and his army were following them. Then the Israel crossed the sea. Moses raised the staff over the sea again. The sea swept Paro's army. God was with the Israels. God people were free. They were not slaves anymore. Moses and the Israels sang, danced joyfully. They praised God. Food from heaven. I am thirsty, said a little girl. I am too, said the father. We don't have any water. We are not the slave of Egypt, but we don't have water. The Israel traveled in the desert for many days. They were thirsty. They complained to Moses. The Israel kept on going. Water, water, they shouted with joy. The people ran to the water, water, but they got angry. They found the water of Mara, but the water was too bitter to drink. God said to Moses, threw a piece of wood into the water. I was just doing this is line but it is almost so I have water here. Yes Lord Moses did what God said. Guesses what the water became sweet the people amazed with god and drank water happily i am hungry said the little boy we are hungry too but there is nothing to eat said the mother the israel began beginning began to complain to moses again we are starving to these. Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, God will give you food. God sent them food like dew from heaven every morning. People called the food mania. They didn't know what it was, but it was like cookie with honey. God feed and clothed the Israel every day. God rose. I will read this again. This one. People were talking to each other. What is the sound? It is thunder. Of a sound of thunder. It's the lightning. The people came to mountain Selenia. The Israel were afraid. Then they heard the thunder. But Moses was with them. God helped Moses lead the people of Mount Sinai. 
God told Moses to come up to the mountain. Moses wanted to hear what God was going to say. Moses asked his brother Aaron to take care of people while he is the he is on God's mountain. God talked to Moses at Mount Sinai. God gave Moses ten commandments. God people have to obey the commandments. Ten commandments. God is the only true God. Never make idols and worship them. Never muse the Lord's name. Rest on the sad, sad, bad day and keep it holy. Horn your father and mother. Do not mother. Husband and wives must not complain. Other. Do not steal, do not tell lies. Never want to belong to any, any other person. God promised to protect the Israel if the, they obey God's rule. They have to obey the rule because God's words never change. Yes, next time I will read Golden Calf and the Israel. <coughs> I think they will make Golden Calf, right? But how can they make it? They don't have gold. I think Iron, Iron will not let to make Golden Calf. I think like that. Right? They will not let. I think he will not let to make golden cuff. But maybe when he didn't, he didn't obey God. Because he had to listen to God and tell the Israel people. Right? In our home, there's also Ten Commandments. Uh, it, is, it is somewhere we have fight it. Not the same one. It is a little bit different. Uh, it is family. Family Ten Commandments. It is like, I think they have seen them in church. I think. They have made it. Yes, I like really like to read Bible stories. There's so many good words. There is something to tell us good thing, right? So I read every day and do YouTube. <laughs> Moses was very surprised to get that because when he have get the stone in the stone there was so oh, first he had to get the stone and then God has written on the stone so I think Moses will be very surprised with that Yes, today I read the Bible story. It was fun. Then bye.